What's good, guys? The long-awaited Q&A video is here after an immense, mental member of fun that we are currently still doing right now until the end of next week. We we had a Q&A video as one of the goals. So without further ado, we're going to get straight into it. Top three non-FPS games I've ever played. Well, there's quite a lot on this list, but top three is going to be very, very hard to narrow. Uh, I think and coming in number one would definitely be World of Warcraft. Um, spent majority of my life playing that game. If any World of Warcraft players are out there, or past or present, uh, I used to play Retribution Paladin. I've got over 365 days game time alone on that one character alone. Played it quite a lot. Don't play it as much anymore. Maybe every now and then, maybe once a year, I'd hop on for like a week just to try out the new expansion or whatever's going on. But tend to not really play it. At number two, I do have RuneScape, uh, specifically old school RuneScape right now. I used to play RuneScape from a very, very, very young age um, when it became Evolution of combat if any runescape players know what that is quit but then they really release old school runescape still play it to this day i have an absolute blast playing that game um don't play a lot of games off stream uh but that may be that one coming to number three this one might be classed as an fps it might not be um i'm gonna throw it in there anyway because it's not like an online fps shooter borderlands franchise wow when I talk looter shooter games, I don't think Escape from Tarkov or these extraction shooters or Destiny. Don't get me wrong, love Destiny, one of my top games out there as well, probably inside my top five. But Borderlands, man, I have a lot of big memories of playing Borderlands growing up from Borderlands 1 to 2 to 3 to 4, well, it will be 4. We got the pre sequel, we got the Telltale games absolutely unreal franchise if you guys like looter shooter games where you can grind loot out and kill various different bosses and do you know really fun and hard challenges but also at the same time want to have a really 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 hard laugh then definitely go with borderlands and especially play the borderlands one two pre-sequel and three borderlands two definitely probably the best one out of them but the whole borderland franchise amazing Favourite zombies map and easter egg. This one's quite an easy one for me. Favourite zombies map will probably be Origins, Revelations, or Der Eisendrack. Easter egg, Der Eisendrack. Uh, I used to do, a lot of people don't know this about me, but it definitely will be happening coming into the new round based zombies. A long, long time ago when I used to be, um, I, I used to stream on and off, you know. Uh, I used to do Will's first e Easter egg runs and Der Eisendrack, we actually came second in the world. Very close behind um the, the people that won it uh, i remember that i uh, we ended up dying on a really high wave when we were trying to solve the easter egg i, I kind of realized what the last steps were that I ended up telling the people that were in the race for the lead because it would have taken us another two hours to get back to where we were uh, and it, they ended up doing that and then ended up winning the easter egg race but we still ended up grinding it again going through the two hours again and ended up finishing second so the Horizon track definitely has a really big uh spot in my in my heart and mind and everything like that just because it, it was a lot of fun back there black ops 3 was my favorite zombies um it, they're all great maps amazing maps only fans when when are the next coming to north america um i don't know maybe next year who knows um i haven't really got any plans to go to north america anytime soon uh, i've got portugal end of this year uh i'm going um away with my partner and her family uh, next year to the caribbean uh, and early next year we have um we also uh, so late this year we have berlin planned but no plans to go to north america maybe then the next year who knows maybe uh maybe your boy might grind himself into maybe a cod next spot if they end up doing next year or maybe a world series of war zone possibly who knows who knows no plans at the moment but does not not going to stop me hopefully going back next year What's the best way of improving movement and make sure your aim doesn't take any hit? Well, this one's a bit of a hard question. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna kind of make it short and snappy. Um, making making improvements to movement and not affecting your aim, uh, it kind of comes down to making sure that you know your sense and your surroundings. Um, one of the best things that I would advise people is that when you, if you don't know, um, if you're missing a lot of shots when you're moving about the map and, you know, um, you might see me in my streams, for example, end up changing between 6-6 six, six and 10-10 or 13 and 13. 
depending on the day if i'm really half the mark or sometimes some days i'm not shooting straight um you know depending on the day sometimes i might lower my sense to kind of maybe keep up with how my brain's moving so most important bit about it is starting off at a very low sense i'd, I'd recommend either three three or four four move your way up in increments but when it becomes too high for you stop go down to one below that try that out if that's the perfect sense stick with it don't change your sense. I know I do a lot of my streams. Don't change your sense. Find an aim assist setting and stick with it. And if you're using a controller, try to stick to the same controller make. I use GameNetics PlayStation 5 controllers. If you're on Xbox, stick to Xbox. If you're on PlayStation, stick to PlayStation. Try not to chop and change that around too much. But if you're on a controller for a in the market for a controller, make sure you check out to GameNetics and use code JAF for 10% off little plug there but yeah that is probably one of the most uh, most important uh, things i would suggest um don't be afraid to move about the map and especially if you got smokes on throw the smokes down use that time to move about if you're in close proximities and uh, you know you're in a 1v1 situation and you kind of need to kind of bail yourself out definitely use smokes it's the most important bit about it i think going into the dance next year we'll have the one uh, the no backpack system i do think stims might be making a little bit of return but honestly smokes are so important for helping with the movement because it helps break aim assist ultimately as well When's the golf channel starting? Hopefully early next year. I finally feel like I'm getting a place somewhere where I can actually present some golf to a YouTube channel. Um, it was one of these things where like I really wanted to start it this year, um, the calendar year 2024. But um, me as an individual, for someone that, you know, who, who I am on stream, you guys know I, I play very sweaty Call of Duty. I take um, a lot of pride in how I play and, and always self-improving a lot. Um, golf is one of these things where, again, if you're a golfer out there, you know how hard it is. If you don't know how hard golf is, um, <laughs> you know, it, it is quite, it's a very big mental and physical battle is what I would say. And I wasn't really happy to the point where I was... I was with my with my golf. Um, you know, I, I wanted to record it, but I didn't personally feel um as confident of uploading the type of golf that I was playing. Um, yes, I know that obviously a lot of people you know want me to upload golf while I'm not as good, you know, because you know a lot of people want to see their journey. But as an individual, I just guess I guess how I am. Uh, but hopefully early next year, because like I said, I'm getting to a place where I am really comfortable in my golf. What is my favorite thing to go through via content creation at events? Well, basically our events. Um, well, you know, I think one of the most important things for me is going live every single day. I do say this quite a lot on my live streams. And, you know, if you haven't had a chance to catch me on my live streams, make sure you do so. The one of the things that I like to do on majority of my live streams, virtually every single one of them, is spread positivity. Uh, I love the idea of... Um, you know, going live every single day and spreading positivity and making people's days a lot better. You know, we all have our own struggles and we have our own grinds at ultimately at the end of the day. And if I can go live and make put a smile on people's faces or distract them from the real world, to me, that is a job well done. And that's what I love the most. Um, you know, a part of that as well is doing events, you know, going to events and meeting a lot of different people. We did World Series Awards in last year. Um, sadly, didn't qualify last year. I didn't compete this year, but I didn't qualify last year. I missed out by literally, you know, a hair. Um, and, you know, meeting a lot of you guys, the community at, co at, at, um, at World Series of Warzone was one of the amazing things. And, you know, meeting my fellow content creator friends as well. You know, I Lackey, Westy at Next last year, Benny, and, you know, many, many more. I absolutely have so much fun at these events. Um, they are just a great time for, to also just to, just to kind of, you know, chill with your mates. And, you know, at the ultimately, at the end of the day, the likes of myself, Lackey, Westy, Stard, and many, many more, like I said, Benny, we, we play every single day together. We don't actually get to see each other every single day. So it's always a good time to kind of catch up with the boys, uh, you know, have a couple of drinks and, you know, relax and just have a good time, you know? So definitely events as well, but, you know, going live every single day as well. 100%. Favorite childhood memory and what's on my bucket list? Well, considering it's obviously, I'm going to give, uh, you know, I've got a lot of ch childhood memories that are amazing. I'm going to give you two, um, which 
you know, speak, you know, amazing to me, uh, but also kind of gaming related. Uh, the first one would have been when I went to South Africa, I went to Cape Town to visit my auntie and my family, and a bunch of my cousins were there, and it was my fourth birthday, literally on my fourth birthday, my cousin had given me Pokemon Silver. Um, now, I was already a big Pokemon fan prior to do that. My mum, uh, you know, mum and dad bought me uh, various different Game Boys, and, and I had Pokemon Yellow, uh, and I loved Pokemon, um, but Pokemon Silver was obviously a new game at the time for me, and I got given it by my cousin. Uh, and let me tell you something, that was one of the, honestly, as a gaming memory as well as a personal memory, I loved that day. I played a lot of Pokemon. I had a Pokemon ice cream cake. If, if I could find some photos, I will whack them on the screen right now. I, I don't think I will be able to find them because they are literally ancient photos. But honestly amazing memory another one would have been um when i was probably in year five in school so i don't know you may be looking at like nine ten ish maybe possibly brother had a playstation 3 um now i had played a lot of games you know offline at playstation 2 playstation 1 and you know a lot of nintendo everything like that but uh, playstation 4 cod 4 was the first ever call call of duty and online game i ever played my brother had said to me um uh, you know, after many a weeks of uh, complaining to my mother and my brother that I wanted to have a go, I wanted to have a go, my brother finally gave me a go, uh, and he said to me, Camille, you've got to get nothing but headshots. You, oh, oh, sorry, you have to get headshots, uh, and if you don't, you're never playing the game ever again. I played free for all on block on Call of Duty 4 using the AK-47. I went 16 and free. And my brother was absolutely godsmacked. Say never, you know, say to least my brother made me grind every single one of those camouflages ever since that day. Um, you know, shout out to my brother as well. Without him, I guess I wouldn't have found my love for Call of Duty on a major scale and played online Call of Duty. And, you know, I wouldn't have had the career that I have today. So shout out to my brother, first of all. But also, you know, great memory. And like I said, I have many more memories, a lot of personal ones and a lot of ones with family and friends. And, um, but, you know, I, being a gaming being a gaming channel obviously i kind of want to give you guys my you know i guess two of my favorite ever gaming childhood memories uh, and what's on my bucket list well this is a hard one i have a lot of things on my bucket list again um i only try and keep it towards my career i think one of the things that i want to do is uh, is bucket list is um it, you know with gaming you have the ability to travel the world by going to different events so one of the things on my bucket list is to travel as many countries as i possibly can um, now you know with co you know with content creation and, and, and you know and, and you know other different things you know visiting every single different um country would be just an absolutely amazing thing now i do have my own personal goal by 30 i want to visit 30 different countries i am currently up to 24 as of right now but um you know like i said it's you know bucket list definitely traveling different countries um you know another personal bucket list thing for me would be to um i'm a very big adrenaline junkie so you know a lot of things like skydiving a lot of that type of stuff definitely on my bucket list uh, and also i would like to go pro in golf uh not pro to tour level but i'd like to go pro at you know in golf in general um you know obviously i am doing a golfing channel doesn't mean i'm going to be taken away from my gaming channel both going to be managed very well and uh, nothing going to be taken away from the live streams etc anything like that but yeah i'd like to go pro at golf um you know I've been someone that has been fortunate enough to play uh, different games, definitely wide range of games at a professional level. A lot of BRs, Call of Duty, uh, FIFA, and I just kind of want to carry on in that space and maybe trying to take it into something in the re you know sp you know not in a video game and try and go professional in the real world and in a sport as well. So um, yeah, definitely that one hundred percent. What am I most proud of and what am I most afraid of when it comes to my career? I think what I'm most proud of is is mainly overcoming my mental battles. Um, for people that don't know, uh, obviously I, I, you know, suffer with depression and anxiety and I have openly talked about this on live stream and definitely have a lot of new people inside the community that don't know about this, especially how quick we've grown. Um, you know, I've suffered with... Uh, uh, suicide depression and anxiety and uh you know to the point where i've actually attempted a couple of times and luckily failed um so you know through my career obviously you know i have a struggle with a lot of mental battles and i think one of the things that i want to say about my career and, and you know not, not just this career but also previous careers and especially university and etc et as well is that I, you know, I went through a lot of mental battles through those points of my life, and I'm, and I'm proud of myself for coming out of the other end. 
you know a lot stronger um and you know um and you know just just who i am and, and, and finally i'm at the point where i am with my content creation i actually am me on a daily basis i'm that guy that screams at you guys and on on stream and just you blares out random rubbish and, and all that type of stuff and provides some excellent quality gameplay majorities but you know um and what am i most, what i'm afraid of I, i'll be honest with you nothing um i i'm a, i'm a very much see how it is person um i i have all these goals in life and i have you know a two to five ten fifteen twenty five year plan and you know n nothing really scares me in life i, I am who i am um at, at heart, you know at, at a core i know who i am as a person and you know who i am is what i portray myself on streams and ultimately i have goals in life and all i want to do is achieve them and, and keep ticking them off my list and just keep grinding to what i what i what i want to do in life and to me that's what makes me you know what's make, makes me tick so i'm not really you know scared of anything um i i'm just look, i'm more look forward to the future you know i'm really looking forward to the, the prospect of doing loads of different things with content creation of black ops on horizon for dancers coming back new movement and call of duty golf channel coming out and um, you know loads of other things on the horizon which you know going back maybe five years ago i wouldn't have even dreamed of um so to be at this point in my life i'm really happy and i'm really excited for the future what advice for 2024 Jaff? Tell 2020 Jaff. Um, it's going to be okay. Obviously, previous question talked about mental health um, and, and obviously my journey with it, you know, with depression, anxiety, and and, uh, and suicidal thoughts, etc. Um, it's going to be okay. I really struggled in 2020. I lost my uh, two of my best mates, uh, both to suicide. One in 2019 and one in back end 2020. And um, as an individual, uh, it, it really did, you know, eat me up and, um, you know, I struggle with a lot of other different things as well. Uh, and, and what I would tell myself going back to 2020 is going to be okay. You're going to come out the other side stronger and you're going to heal from all, from everything. And, you know, you're going to come out a lot prouder and the people like you know who loved you and and love you and everything like that are going to be very much proud of you and and, and that's kind of what i uh, want in life you know um, my mates that are not here anymore um you know i love them to bits and and still think about them on a vir virtually a daily basis um and you know knowing what i've done with my life and talking to them with it and uh and everything like that is you know they, i'm sure they would be proud as well and um you know my family are proud and my friends are proud molly's proud you know i can't i can't i couldn't be more you know like i said it's something that i would say is that you know it's gonna be okay and you're gonna get through these rough patches in your life you know that being said if anybody is out there you know that is struggling with mental health with depression anxiety suicide thoughts things will get better um it may not seem like it would get better right now but i'm telling you right now it definitely does if you know anybody can anybody can get out of these ruts and it's definitely yourself just you know um you know, there's a lot of places out there online and people that you can ring as well that can you can reach out to and talk to there are people out there that care about you and there's definitely people out there that'll be willing to to be there for you and look after you and you know go through the rough bits as well as the good bits so stay in there stay strong you'll get through these points what advice would i give to gav um don't get slapped across the face uh, <laughs> uh no advice love gap to bits <laughs> I, if i could live in another country what would it be and why um there's probably two uh probably maybe australia but definitely i'd love to retire uh you know if in an ideal world and in a dream world i'd love to retire in florida jupiter now it would be because of the golf um I, you know i'm a big golfer and you know i you know i'm going to be playing this golf uh, this sport for the rest of my life and i i look at loads of youtube videos and photos online and see all over social media the one place i'd love to go and just visit and play a lot of golf is jupiter florida so um definitely jupiter florida what advice would i give someone to uh who started streaming um be consistent um don't let the uh viewership numbers get you down um you know it, it, 
it's a very big uh it's a very competitive world out there so you know um when you start off streaming don't consider it a job don't consider it a, um you know something that you, you can immediately make money off um you know consider it as a hobby and if it does become a job then you know happy days you know am amazing if it if, you know if it doesn't you know you just keep doing it as a hobby and, and enjoy it make sure you play games that you enjoy don't don't force yourself to play games that you don't enjoy uh, don't go live on the days that you don't feel like going live be you be yourself don't be anybody else don't try to copy anybody and yeah just go from there do i know if anybody has watched me in a stranger position than having a set to me um i'll be honest with you that was a new one. I probably would say that was the strangest one. And uh, JP, I hope you are recovering very well. Uh, I'll be honest with you, other than someone, a couple of people telling me to watch me in the shower uh, and a couple telling me that they watch me while uh, doing it. Um, other than that, I don't think there is. Uh, so uh, JP, I think you are winning that one. Uh, and again, I hope your recovery is going well. And guys, that is it for the Q&A today. I hope I answered all your questions. I know we had a couple more questions, but I tried to incorporate some of the answers, uh, you know, because we had like, a couple of questions that were very similar and I kind of wanted to cover all basis with the, with the time that we had. So, chat, I really appreciate all the love and support. You guys have been absolutely legendary and I can't thank you all enough for the love and support that you guys have been sharing on one, the live streams, the socials, the videos, the short form, absolutely everything. You guys have been absolutely crushing it. And like I said, I say this many a times on my live streams, this is just the start for the content creation and you guys, the community. The sky's the limit and I can't wait to see where we are this time next year through content creation and the community. Thank you guys and until next time, I'll see you guys real soon. Peace!